Hi guys, it's Jacqueline Christine here, and today I'm going to go in and do this green and blue eyeshadow look. I decided I wanted to get a little wild with the makeup today and do something a little different. Normally I do nothing but neutrals, but if you like the look, keep on watching, and make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel, and leave comments down below, and keep on watching. All right, guys, we're going to get started. I started with one eye done already, so you can see what it's going to look like in the end. It's a greenish, and bl green and blue color, kind of cut crease with brown on the lid. I just wanted to get a little wild with colors today, so let's get started. I'm going to go into my... Um, Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I am going to go in with the color Riff which is this color right here and I am let me find it I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I am just going to take a little bit of that tap off the excess and blend that in my crease And I just want to blend this out, starting darker in the crease, and just blend it out <laughs> to not to my eyebrow, but right below it. I want this to be smoked out a lot. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then I'm going to take um this dark brown color it is good as gone and i'm going to put that with this small a little bit smaller detail blending brush put that right into the crease like this and then i'm going to take my blending brush again and blend that out but I'm not going to blend that up like I did the light brown color. I'm just going to keep that right into the crease. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to take my Kat Von D uh, vegan palette and I am going to go in with the blue and green out of here. They're very, very pretty, pretty colors. Let me swatch these colors to show you. So the green and the blue. And there's the blue and there's the green. See, they're very shimmery and they're very bright. Very, very pretty colors. And they're very pigmented, but if you take a setting spray and spray your brush like so, and then go in with the color, like I'm going to go in with the blue color now, it'll help make the color a lot more brighter. So I'm going to go in and get some of the color. And then we're going to put the blue on the outside part of the eye. Let's see. And we're just going to pack it on. And we're going to let the meat in the middle. Alright, like so. And then I'm going to go into another flat brush like this one that I used. The um, blue one, just like the blue one. And I'm gonna, but I'm going to use for my green and I'm going to wet this one. Also, and the wetting again makes the colors come out a lot brighter and stick a lot better. And as you can see, I didn't do my foundation yet because I'm using these bright, glittery, uh, not 
glittery but kind of metallic-y colors if I do do my foundation first and then put the eyeshadow one it's a possibility that it would smear all over my face and I really don't want that okay so now we go in with the green and we'll put that on the inner corner inner part of my eyelid and then when we get right in the middle we just lightly tap and blend them two together like so and there's the colors okay and that looks good and that is pretty much all I did for the actual eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my, what is this? A Smashbox Always Gel, um, gel Liner and go into my waterline and put... This looks more of a going out nighttime look. But it's fun, festive, a little wild. And then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox liquid liner. And I'm going to do this off camera because I do have some issues trying to do it on camera. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm back with both of my liquid liners done. And I'm going to go in with this flat brush and go it back into riff and I am going to use that to put on to my bottom lash line oops and just smoke that out a tad like so and then I am going to go in with um, my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara I don't know if you can see that I love this mascara it's such a good mascara and I'm going to use that on my top and bottom lashes And I'm going to let that dry a tad. And then now it's time for actual base makeup. Um, I'm going to go into it the Photo Focus by Wet n Wild, the 3M1. This is a prep set and uh, spray. Now I'm just going to spray my whole face. And this is going to help prep and help my foundation and my powders stick on all night and I am going to go in with my CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation. This is a medium beige. This is all day liquid foundation. And I'm just going to squirt some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and I am going to go put it all over. When you're doing this, if you do your eyes first, just make sure you don't hit your eye makeup. You don't want to ruin that. You work so hard and then when you get done, it's all ruined. I'd be so upset. If you go a little bit underneath, it's one thing because you can just add a little bit of shadow when you're done, which I will just so... I kind of blend it out better, but you just want to be very, very careful. You don't want to ruin it. 
Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 16-hour um, camo concealer. And I'm not going to conceal heavy, heavy today. I'm just going to conceal under my eyes a little bit. And right in the middle. Just a tad, nothing crazy. And I'm going to take that same brush and just blend it. Okay, and before that concealer has time to crease, I'm going to go in with my uh, Cody Air Spun, Cody Air Spun, excuse me, my Cody Air Spun powder, and I am going to set my face. Well, we're just going to set. So I'm going to set under my eyes. Make sure you set them very good because you do not want them to crease. And set my forehead and your smile lines. Wherever you crease the most at, you want to put a little bit more powder. And, and then you can take a bigger fluffy brush like this and you can lightly just dust over the rest of your face instead of pressing it in and then you can just wipe away the excess like so so your face is all set and then I'm going to take my Laura Geller. This is a three in one bronzer, um, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And I'm going to use that for actually all three. I'm going to take my bronzer brush and dip into the bronzer and bronze up my cheeks. And then bronze up my forehead. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my big fluffy brush again. And I'm going to go into the blush shade. And it looks pretty pink. So I'm going to dust some of that off. And just go in my cheeks. Okay, it's not that bad when you put it on. When you look at it on the brush, it looks like it's going to be super, super pink. And I'm not a big, big fan of blush. I don't want to have really, really rosy cheeks. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Then I'm going to go with this fluffy brush, and I'm going to use that for my highlight. I'm going to go in with it, this corner of the same um, Laura Geller palette, and I'm going to try to use that for my highlight and see how it works. Let me see if I use my finger first. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to use my finger. I'm not going to use the brush. It's not much of a highlight, but it's a subtle one. It's pretty. Put some on my nose. And on my lip. Oh, put a lot of bear. There you go. I like it. Put some a little bit in the inner corner of my eye to brighten that up a little. Right, 
and I like that. All right, now I'm going to go in again with my Wet n Wild Photos Focus, and I'm going to spray my whole face to set all the makeup in. This will help all the powders and the liquids mesh together so you don't look as cakey. Okay. And we're going to fan that. Ooh. And today I'm not going to go in and do anything while with my lips. I'm just going to take this Keep It Full by Milani Oop. lip gloss. And I am just going to put that on. It's nothing crazy. I figured the eye look is a little crazier that I don't need really anything too crazy on the lips. And now that you're done all that, if you feel as though you need to go in and dust a little bit more eyeshadow right on the corners where you um, might hit it with foundation, you can do that. Um, I don't need it too much, but I'm going to put uh, just a tad down here because I do want to darken my under eye a little bit like so. There you go. Okay, I love how it turned out. If you like this look, please give me a like and a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to give me any suggestions on any more likes, I mean, any more looks that you would like me to do, let me know in the comments and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.